I think it's time to announce a cooking challenge. The baby's finishing her drawing. Pancakes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, Grandma, are you okay? Feeling good? Well, let's begin. What? Grandma already has the dough ready. How did she know we'd be making pancakes? Maybe she's a psychic that can foresee the future? We'll have to find out. Mmm, smells delicious. I wouldn't mind having Grandma's pancakes, too. It's the most delicious thing in the world. And how about adding something sweet? Oh, maple syrup. Did she read my mind? It seems she's definitely a wizard. Well, Enid, what will you surprise us with? Oh, you decided to make rainbow pancakes. Enid apparently has dough of all the colors of the rainbow. What happened? The blue dough doesn't want to pour for some reason. Press harder, press harder. Oh, this is not my fault. I mean, press harder, but not that hard. Oh, it's okay, wipe it off and carry on. So, Enid's first pancake is ready. Perfect. Why do you need black dough? There's no black color in the rainbow. Oh, it's a unicorn! Indeed, there cannot be a rainbow without a unicorn. Even Grandma likes it. Wednesday's up to something special. Let's see what she's come up with. Look, she's got help from Thing. Can you cook with assistance? Is that by the rules? Well, let's not nitpick. Black food coloring. This is amazing. Just a few drops and all the dough is black. Why the syringe? Oh, I pee myself out of fear. Oh so Wednesday is making a frightening spider web. I pretend that I'm not scared. And what is this? Oh, these are spiders. And now some syrup. Wednesday decorates the plate with fresh blood. I mean, strawberry syrup. Look at this beauty. And she even sprinkled it with powdered sugar. Oh, yeah, I agree, Grandma. This is truly a horrifying masterpiece. All participants are ready. Little one, time to taste. Where will you start? With the rainbow or... Don't worry, these are not real spiders. These are pancakes. Wednesday decided to scare you again. Taste it. These spiders are cute and not scary at all when they're eatable. It's not a toy. Try it. How is it? Delicious? And this is eatable sweet snow. Let's continue. Next up, a mountain of pancakes with maple syrup by Grandma. Hurry, try it. I envy you so much. It must be very tasty and sweet. Save me a couple of pancakes, please. Yes. Oh, please. Look, baby. It's a unicorn and rainbow pancake. What are you doing? It needs to be eaten, not played with. I think the baby really enjoyed it. So it's time to announce the winner. The little one will tell us who won this challenge. Unicorn Pancake! Enid, congratulations. As for the others, I suggest not getting upset. Look, the baby wanted some french fries. Honestly, I wouldn't say no to them either. Can you make them? Hey, don't argue. There are enough potato peelers for everyone. Look, what's happening? Where are the peels flying from? Enid, sweetheart, can you be more careful? Grandma is covered from the head to toe with potato peels. Plus, there's another problem. Who's going to clean up all of this later? Oh, of course, the one who made the mess cleans it up. That's how we do it. Teamwork, a new kind of sport. Hand drill potato removal. Grandma wins. What's this gadget? Oh, it's a special knife for cutting potatoes. Look how beautiful it turns out. Emerald green? Oh, it's just food coloring. Ina decided to make green fries. What imagination. And not just green, but all the colors of the rainbow. Rainbow fries. Enid, you're a genius. I think you could become a chef, honestly. A pristine white chef's hat would suit you. Although your chef's hat could be rainbow, too. So, Enid's fries are ready. You're brilliant. It turned out great. Yes. And Grandma is already frying her fries. Hers turned out regular, not colorful, but surely very tasty. And crunchy, too. Grandma, stop. It's for the baby. And such beautifully crispy fries definitely need ketchup. Bravo, Grandma. What a delicious treat. 
hell's Wednesday doing? Is it ready? Can we transfer it? It looks a bit burnt to me. What's this? Black paint? What are you doing? Ah! Wednesday spare grandma's nerves. Okay. Oh, I see. Wednesday wanted to paint the fries black, not herself. Yeah, it turned out to be real fries from the fiery hell. Why do you need a knife? Well, Wednesday will be cleaning up today, too. This is Klaus. I forgot that Wednesday can't have everything like ordinary people. Little one, try it. Oh, Wednesday decided to scare you again. But you're already aware this spider is made of fries. <gasps> Look, baby liked it. She cannot stop now. Apparently, it was a very tasty spider. Let's evaluate the next dish. At first glance, it's just regular fries with ketchup. But it's from grandma, so it's surely very tasty. Hmm. Leave me a little to try, please. She didn't leave any aid at all. Congratulations, Grandma. You're amazing as always. Yeah, colorful fries immediately attract attention. No wonder it's Enid's rainbow french fries. Personally, I've only seen something like this in dreams. How is it? Delicious? Ha, the baby's teeth are stained. And besides, she's already full. Just tell us who won. Rainbow potatoes. Eat it. You won again. Congratulations. Well done. Attention. The little one is finishing drawing. What's this time? A burger. Great. Is everyone ready? Of course. Everyone's ready for a new challenge. Grandma's sure she'll make the best burger in the little one's life. Mmm, toasted buns with sweet tomatoes sliced in rings, of course. And of course, the filling. It's crucial to make patties from good minced meat. Mmm, grandma's patties. Now it's time to assemble the burger. Bun, fresh lettuce, juicy patty, cheese on top, tomatoes, onion, and cover it all with another bun. Done. In my opinion, it's the perfect burger. Eat it. How will you cook your burger? You're studying with buns too? No. No? Why did you throw them away? A donut? Will you use a donut instead of buns? Wow! And on top, strawberry sweet syrup? Enid likes a lot of sweets. Although I understand, the little one loves everything sour and sweet. I wouldn't mind trying that too. Can I have a taste? Marshmallow? A burger with marshmallows? I've never encountered such a recipe before. Just sweets and tanginess. What, it's not all? More marshmallows with strawberry syrup? Yeah, Enid, I suggest calling your burger Sweet Burger. That's beautiful. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wednesday has black buns ready. Unusually cut cheese. Hmm, what an appetizing patty. Is there more cheese on top? What is she up to? Oh, is that blood? Oh, it's ketchup. And another bun on top. Are you hungry? Wanted some chips? Oh, it's for the burger. Wednesday turned a chip into a tongue for her monster burger. Thing comes to the help again. No need to be afraid of it. It won't eat you. It doesn't even have a mouth. But now it has eyes. What are they planning? Oh, turns out these are eyes for Wednesday's burger. In my opinion, she made an awfully cute burger. So, the preparations are done, and we're ready for the tasting. Little one doesn't even know where to start, and decided to begin with this terribly cute creature. Hmm, judging by the little one's reaction, it's very tasty. Yeah, Wednesday, congratulations. It's indeed a success. What's next? Grandma's burger. It looks just like you drew. I'm sure this burger is very delicious. Try it. What's this? Onion? Oh, and indeed, girls don't like onions. The little one rejected this burger because she doesn't eat onions. And Grandma probably forgot, as always. The last one remains the brightest and sweetest burger from Enid. Look, the little one cannot decide, so she'll choose with help of counting. And so, the victory goes to Wednesday's delicious burger. They're even jelly eyes. 
Yeah, Wednesday, it's a well-deserved victory. Congratulations. <gasps> Does this make you happy? Oh my, Wednesday, smile wider. Show all your teeth. You have such a beautiful smile. Well, maybe not this time. <laughs> Little one, want some cocoa? Will you make it? Okay. I think everyone agrees. <laughs> Who will start? All right. Grandma, the bravest of all. She mixes milk and cocoa in the pot. It should be super delicious. Wow, she's gonna add chocolate there. Mmm, chocolate drink. Yeah, cocoa like that can only be in a mug that says world's best grandma. Right, let everyone know who's number one. Bravo, grandma. I think the little one will love it. Enid also decided to use chocolate. But why chocolate? We don't eat it. It's needed for the task. Right, throw it in the pan. Want to add more sugar? Grandma, tell her that's too much. Right, just a little pinch. No, it's a sugar flood. Time for milk. Enid, I would help you open it, but I cannot. I'm the host. Oh, spilled it. But hopefully there's still some left for the cocoa. So, Enid, of course, can't leave it just white. She adds a bit of blue. Look, the color of the sky. How beautiful. Yellow cream. Indeed, it will be very useful. What artistry. I think it's very cool. Look, Ina decided to decorate it all with white cream. I'm sure the little one will love it. Marshmallows too? It seems Eden made a beautiful rainbow cocoa. Sweet and extra sweet. And beautiful as well. Wednesday and Thing don't like such colorful madness. Wednesday loves everything black. She starts with a black skull-shaped mug. Don't worry, Grandma, it's just a mug. Look, Wednesday pours dark cocoa into her favorite mug, adds blood from strawberry syrup, and of course, warms jelly ones. No need to be afraid, it should be very tasty. Time to try it. Little one, everything's ready. You can start tasting. Everything looks very appetizing. She starts with the brightest one. Well, is it good? And this is her favorite grandma. Say hi to grandma, little one. Cocoa from grandma is always delicious. And here's Wednesday again. Oh Her God. favorite skulls and worms. Don't be afraid. Try it. These are jelly candies. Yeah, everything's very tasty, okay. but you have to mm. pick one. The rainbow cocoa wins. Congratulations, Enid. You've won again. What are you waiting for? The little one wants to eat. Oh, they're waiting for her to order. In the first round, you'll be making pasta. A huge portion, like this. Enid hasn't cooked it before, but I'm sure she'll do great. Granny, wake up! Your granddaughter wants pasta. So, Grandma is cooking pasta with the classic recipe. She puts spaghetti in the pot and waits for them to boil. Enid, what's wrong? Do you have an allergy? Oh, it's because of the flour. Well, it's good that it's just flour, not something disgusting. Enid needs flour because she wants to cook spaghetti on her own. There we go. Eggs come into play. Wow, you can even juggle? Oh, uh, never mind. You cannot. So, Enid needs the dough. When it's ready, she needs to divide it into small balls. But Enid colors each ball in a specific color. Wow, using a special device, she cuts the dough into colorful noodles. What a beauty. I think it looks really cool. And most importantly, it's genuine. Spaghetti in the form of little flowers. Granny, how are you doing? Grandma remembers well. Granddaughter always loved regular spaghetti with ketchup. So why not give her exactly that? Both satisfying and delicious. Wednesday, it's your turn. As always, Thing comes to help. Wednesday doesn't want her pasta to look generic. It's too bright for her. She adds a bit of black color and it makes it just right. Ketchup looks exactly like blood. Wow, look at these jelly eyes. They really complement the dish. Well, little one, are you ready to taste and pick the winner? Where will you start? First, she'll try grandma's classic spaghetti. She has loved it since childhood. Well, what do you say? Delicious and simple. Excellent. 
Next comes Enid's pasta. It turned out unbelievably beautiful and very cute. A true work of art. Enid even added some extra short pastas, and they look a lot like vampire fangs. Though they're not cooked and dry, so eating them, it's impossible. The little one decides not to even try Enid's pasta. Now it's Wednesday's turn. The presentation is rather unusual. First, the little one tries the eye. Of course, it's jelly. Turns out the little one loves them. Wednesday, how did you know that jelly goes so well with pasta? The little one is thrilled. I want to try it too. Leave me some. I think the winner is obvious. Wednesday cooked the best pasta this time. Despite the efforts of Grandma and Enid, Wednesday is the winner this time. Hey, stop scaring Grandma. Little one, are you ready to give everyone a new task? It will be a cocktail. Can you make it? Enid says yes. Grandma is also on board. And Wednesday's not falling behind. What strange ingredients are these? What are you gonna do? Apparently, a cocktail that we'll never forget. Sprite serves as the basis. And what a unique glass shape. Now Wednesday adds a secret ingredient to the Sprite, giving it the desired color. Look, Wednesday's sending things somewhere. Oh, now it makes sense to get her wipe cream. Granny, don't offend the assistant. Wipe cream will be poured all over the cocktail and then topped with jelly eyes. Yeah, we know that jelly eyes are Wednesday's favorite sweets. It looks cool and surely tastes great. Some red syrup to finalize the dish. Enid, what are you waiting for? It's time for you to start. Are you starting with jelly candies? First, Enid separates them into colored groups. What's the next step? She layers them in a tall glass. Just look at how beautiful it turns out. Why do you need a fan? Wow, the jelly candies turn into a uniform mass right before our eyes. And the final step, wipe cream. I should agree, it always gives drinks a more presentable look. And of course, color jelly for decoration. Wonderful. Girls, you've made beautiful and tasty cocktails. And Grandma's thinking about her granddaughter's health. She makes a cocktail that will be healthy first and foremost. It will consist of different vegetables that Grandma is trying to stuff into the blender. They just need to be blended and turned into a cocktail. Granny's cocktail is ready. I wonder, what does it smell like? Judging by Enid, it smells disgusting. And Wednesday seems like she wants to escape from this smell, I believe. But it doesn't upset Grandma. She's confident that her granddaughter will appreciate the care for her health. It's time to choose the winner. Little one, go ahead. At first glance, all the cocktails look quite nice. But our girl is wary of this nasty twig. Hopefully, she'll like the cocktail itself. Oh, no. Grandma, the little one says your cocktail isn't drinkable. Next in line is Enid's cocktail. It looks much more delicious. And the white cream, the little one just loves it. Look, she decides to eat it with a spoon. And rightly so. You cannot miss a bit of this delicious white cream. Done with the white cream, it's time to get a straw. What's this? Is the cocktail very solid? Impossible to drink? Why? The melted jellies have solidified again. Ah, uh, yes. Drinking this cocktail won't be possible. Wednesday, all hope is on you. Come on, little one. Try it. Judging by your reaction, it's delicious. I would happily drink that cocktail too, especially with those appetizing jelly eyes. Look, she just cannot stop. Nice. Don't keep us waiting, little one. Tell us, who is the winner? Amen. Wednesday. Congratulations. Little one, what task awaits everyone in this round? So, this time, the little one wants something like... Make her a little salad. A little salad it is. It will be done. You have a salad, little one. And not just okay. one, but three. Granny just harvested lettuce leaves. And they will serve as the base for the salad. Next come cheese and croutons. Looks like I even know the recipe for this Caesar salad. Grandma almost forgot about juicy tomatoes. They will be the decoration and add flavor to the salad. Eat it and Wednesday, how are you doing? Nina came up with a way to make the salad not only tasty but also beautiful. She returns to the flower theme and will create small but very cute flowers from veggies. I think it's a great idea. Looks wonderful. But for 
Wednesday, flowers are boring. She likes something dark in the salad, like basil leaves. A skull? What's that for? Oh, now it's clear. Wednesday will place other ingredients on the skull. Now she pours ketchup over everything. It looks a lot like blood. And she inserts two jelly eyes. Wow, look, the skull now looks way more interesting. It's time to choose the winner. Don't be scared, little one. It's just cheese and ham. Try it. But the little one finds it too scary to even touch. Let's see if Grandma surprises the little one. Her salad really does look like Caesar salad. This is the kind of salad the little one is always ready to eat. She doesn't even want to stop. She's eager to empty the plate quickly. It is truly tasty and healthy. But there are even its flower-shaped veggies left. Yeah, they are just veggies. The little one didn't like it. Grandma wins. Eat it, don't get distracted. The little one is ready to give a new task. What is it this time? <laughs> Donuts! Enid is ready for the challenge. Grandma likes them too. Okay. Oh, Wednesday has already prepared black paint. For Grandma, the main thing is for the donuts to be delicious. After all, donuts are meant to be eaten, not just looked at. But Enid decided to make something bright again. Each of her donuts will be a different color. At least it will be beautiful. Look, Enid seems very confident in her victory. She's even provoking Wednesday. But she has already done part of the work. It's time for decorations. Of course, they cannot be a donut without red strawberry syrup. It really looks like blood. But that's not all. Watch how using white icing, Wednesday draws a spider web pattern. It's as if she pulled these donuts out of the spider's nest. What a beauty. Hey, can't go far without a reliable assistant. Fang, Wednesday needs Nutella. Come on, bring it here. Don't be afraid. It's not an evil hand. It's Fang carrying Nutella. Look how cool. Wednesday pours Nutella into molds and makes chocolate bats. It turned out to be a real work of art. And here are Grandma's donuts ready. But she doesn't want to decorate them too much. She sprinkles them with powdered sugar. Everyone loves powdered sugar. Hopefully the little one will be satisfied too. Enid's colorful donuts are also ready. They're so beautiful. You can't even take photos with them now. How cool is that? But is that all? Hey, take care of your teeth, Enid. <laughs> Every child dreams of covering their tongue in sweet sprinkles. How beautiful. Colorful donuts with vibrant sprinkles. Make your choice, little one. Yeah, don't be surprised. Wednesday did something unusual again. Even the bats looks delicious. Well, tell us, is it good? Okay. Little one decides it's not bad, but apparently she expected more. And how about grandma's donuts? Yeah, it will be much more convenient to eat them stacked on each other. Well, is it sweet? Is it good? The little one decides that these are just regular donuts. Let's see what she says about Enid's donuts. They most resemble the ones our little one loves so much. Apparently, it's unbelievably delicious. Enid, it's clear. Your donuts are the best. Wow, the prize is a new phone. But whoever draws it better will take it. Time starts now. Ben, hurry up. Hey, what are you doing? This is not fair. Start drawing. The time is ticking. You need to scratch a new phone with a feather. Try to do your best. The prize is very good. The feather broke. Need to find something else. A chicken? A smelly sock? Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> Jane, it suits you. Maybe you should go to school like that. Don't be upset. He didn't do it on purpose. Let's continue searching. Stickers, candies, a coin. 
Perfect! You can also scratch a new phone with it. Try hard if you want to win. More details, that's right. It's perfect. A coin always comes in handy. Mary, how about your progress? You haven't started drawing yet. Try your best. The main thing is to write that it's a phone so everyone understands. Terrific. Ben, what do you think? I think it's cute. Nothing funny. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Jane. Oh, we forgot about you. Everyone has finished their drawings and you didn't make it. Ooh. Hey, teacher, don't yawn. Time's up. Jane didn't draw anything. Mary, what are you doing? This is not fair. Why is he... Look, the teacher liked your drawing, which you substituted. And Ben, yours is terrible. Yeah, Ben, Mary won. You'll know next time not to bother her and tickle her nose with a feather. Come on, Mary, open it quickly. Show us. No. <laughs> the button phone. That's for trying to deceive everyone. New prize, Barbie. Fantastic prize. Girls, wake up. What? A knife? No! Oh, it's not just Barbie. It's a cake Barbie. Delight. Let's go. Yes! Mary, you should be drawing, not chewing a gum. Although something sweet can improve the mood, I agree. Let's go! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you decided to use gum as clay. It's turning out great. Beautiful. Ben, what do you think? Bam likes it. He'll also sculpt a picture from Gun. It will be a head, but that's not enough. More material is needed. A red wine will make a dress. How beautiful. Mary, how about you? Well, at least Ben tried. Jane, be careful. Don't choke. What do you need so much gum? Yeah, you can sculpt a whole statue from such a quantity. I wonder what you're planning. I really don't understand what you're up to. Is this going to be a dress? Hey, where are your glasses? Hey, Ben, don't eat her. She's not eatable. Ugh, disgusting. Jane, remove the gum from your face, huh? It doesn't suit you at all. Attention, time's up. What did you manage to do? Jane, show us. Hey, hey, hey. Jane, the teacher is over there. Some scribbles again. This is a complete dislike. What's next? Oh, wow, Mary, you have an amazing drawing. Great. And what will Ben show us? Ben apparently doesn't want the cake. No. Who's taking the prize? Mary, you deserved it. You're the best student. Mmm, so delicious. Leave me a piece. Mary, you're such a greedy girl. Finish the last piece. Oh, guys, it's a disaster. Mary went crazy from such a delicious cake. Save her. Hurry, do something. Mary, don't be so greedy. You have friends. Now that's better. Now it's a party for everyone. So, a new prize, a cosmetic set. Girls, you will be thrilled. And what about prizes for Ben? Well, okay. Let's go! Time starts now. Yeah, Ben, you need to draw with chalk. I wonder what you'll draw. Outline, a couple of details, a heart. Fill it all in. Huh, it's turning out quite well, actually. I'm starting to like it. Well Girls, evaluate Ben's drawing. Beautiful, right? Jane, don't be envious. Better demonstrate your skills. Oh, Mary's ready for the battle, too. Girls, don't argue. Apparently, Mary came up with a brilliant idea. Right. Why waste time coloring when you can gray chalk, cover it with another sheet of paper, and iron it well with a hot iron? so that the chalk melts. Well done, Mary, the inventive. Jane, what did you come up with? <laughs> Boiling water? Be careful! Nice. Look at 
what she's doing. She crushes chalk and throws it into hot water. Oh, I see. They will dissolve there and turn into paint. That way, she might color faster than Mary. I really like how it turns out. Oh, what's that smell? Mary, are you okay? No! Everything burned! Dreaming about cosmetics, are you? And what are you gonna do now? Be careful, it's hot! Oh no, Jane! The paint spilled all over your drawing! Everything's ruined! And the time's up! Come on, guys, show your works! First, Mary. Well, it turned out abstract, but not what we needed. And what about you, Jane? Scribbles again. Looks very funny. Maybe Ben will please us. Oh, wow, a masterpiece. Ben, you're a champ. The teacher cannot believe his eyes. Ben, you're a winner. The cosmetic set goes to you. But what will you do with it? Give it to Mary. You please. Or Jane. Or will you keep it for yourself? Look, he came up with something. Come on, tell us your idea. Oh, he's doing makeup for both Jane and Mary at the same time. And it's done. <laughs> I love it. It's very beautiful. It's quite original. Ben, I think you better run. Oh, look at what the teacher has prepared. He brought a kitten as a prize. Oh, cute. Attention, time starts now. Let's start drawing. Ben, don't get distracted. What will you use for drawing? Liquid candy? That's interesting. Eyes, nose, whiskers, body. Oh, such a long body. Don't forget the paws. Great. And I kind of like it. Why are you laughing? Mary, you'd better not laugh at Ben and start drawing or you won't make it in time. Hey, that's not candy. It's paying. Don't eat it. Yes, I understand that you like sour stuff, but stop it, please. You need to draw a picture. Yeah, Mary won't have any drawing. She just ate all the paint. Jane, what will you surprise us with? Show us how it's done. Such a cute kitten. It turned out very beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Kiddos, time's up. Show your works. Mary, you ate everything. You didn't draw a picture. You're definitely not getting a kitten. What about Ben? Yeah, you, Ben. Show us. Come on. Well, it's mediocre. I agree with the teacher. Far from a masterpiece. Mary, at least you didn't draw such a monstrosity. What can Jane delight us with? Wow, how original. A good kitty. You deserve the prize. Congratulations, Jane. Was it a cute kitten? What will you name him? I would call him Fluffy because he's soft and cute. And he purrs so pleasantly. But I think the kitten wants to play with Mary, not with you. Don't be upset, Jane. 